Yeah, my name is Kadamu Haruna AS, and I'm a uh, yeah social worker because I work with the local NGO here in Nigeria, in Sokoto State. I'm presently in Kano. Yes, sir. Great. And what is the collaborative for you? Yeah, since I joined this collaborative, like I have been, uh, what's it called? Uh, ideas that have been shared from a lot of people because in this our work, you know, we face a lot of challenges as um, because with the people you do interact with, people you work with, people you engage with, the communities especially. Thank you. Thank you, Haruna Adamus. You're probably referring to previous engagement. We haven't started the learning yet. We're still right now. We can tell you where to get more information, and I'm going to briefly show you how it works. If you are not yet part of the collaborative, there is still time to apply. This is the Immunization Collaborative for the Children and Families of Nigeria. The idea is to share experience and take action with fellow professionals to strengthen routine immunization. Once you find the page, make sure you are on the right page. Uh, go ahead and type in your uh, name and email. You can see I'm typing in uh, mine. Type in yours, not mine. Click on apply. And if this is the first time you're requesting information from the Geneva Learning Foundation, then do follow the instructions on this page. Everything else happens by email. You'll be receiving the information to apply uh, your personal personalized link. Others cannot use this link. This, we are in the middle of the launch campaign. We have extended the application deadline really in response to the overwhelming level of interest. You're going to see some of that uh, today. For those of you who have already been selected, you will see your name appear again today. We did not want to confuse everyone, so we're going to show you the applicants who've been selected to join the collaborative from the first batch, which we announced last Monday, as well as the new batch. Now, if you have been selected for the collaborative, these are the key dates to note on your calendar. We'll be sharing a lot more detail uh, with that, of course, uh, very soon. How to join the collaborative to recap, register your interest. We just showed you the page, share the call to action, complete your application, and then attend the Monday meetings uh, for the next actions. And that's what we're giving you today. Now, if you are a part of an organization that is interested in becoming a partner of the collaborative, in that case, well, we have, you'll receive once you are, uh, once you have requested your application, you will receive the invitation for your organization to complete the partnership form. And the next deadline for cycle one is Friday, the 12th of July. Registered for today's launch are 479. On the 17th of June, uh, 23 of you had shared with colleagues you receive as soon as you register the application. You'll find the uh, invitation to apply, but you'll also find the big green WhatsApp button that says invite your colleagues to join the first Nigeria Immunization Collaborative. Only do this if you don't want to go it alone. And as you know, if you, for those of you who were here last Monday, uh, my 17th of June, we'd reached almost 30,000 uh, people. And we now, by 1st of July, last Monday, we were up to 44,945. So an additional 15,000 people reached. And this is a testament to your efforts and your dedication because uh, to, today, I'm pleased to say that we've reached the amazing number of 56,195, an additional 11,250 of your colleagues reached through your efforts. Now, we did find, we did have a couple of people who claimed that they had reached 1 million people. For example, one person said, we discard that kind of data because even if you are on a very large WhatsApp group, and even if it's true, uh, we'd rather go with the lower, more realistic numbers. We do look at what you submit, and this is what we call the dissemination register. When you are invited to share, you are also invited to tell us who you shared with. Now, by 1st of July, uh, 46 had shared with their uh, colleagues. And by the 8th of July, I'm pleased to say that 73 have now contributed to dissemination. You can see their names here. So we've nearly doubled the number of Nigerian leaders, health leaders, who have actually shared and contributed to dissemination. And the result is here, Charlotte. 132 had expressed interest as of the 17th of June, and this number went up to 226 for every at the time. Uh, you had said you had reached almost 30,000 people. 
but it didn't seem very effective because you had only 200 out of 226 reached, only one had expressed interest. By the 1st of July, 699 had expressed interest, and there, for every 64 reached, one had actually followed through. And now today, we're pleased to announce we've now reached 1,615 Nigerian health leaders from all levels of, and you're going to see from all states and over 100 LGAs who've expressed interest, which means that as you have progressed, we have reached more people and dissemination continues. We are far from, there is no upper limit to the number of participants in the collaborative. We do, we are going to select new participants every week. So we encourage you to continue uh, sharing and disseminating. Now, on 17th of June, 12 organizations had partnered by the 1st of July. There are 46 organizations. You can see some of the logos that were submitted here. The disclaimer is that we indicate the person who submitted on behalf of the organization. We explicitly ask you, are you formally authorized by your organization to commit your organization to be a partner? So uh, here are the organizations. You can see that we've gone from 12 to 46. And today, 81 partner organizations that have joined the collaborative. And you can see here, there's now four pages of organizations. You can see the names here. We'll share, of course, we'll share the slide deck so that you can check. Now for WHO and UNICEF, WHO, we know that there's a formal process. So even if you are working for WHO, that does not mean you have the authorization. That is why WHO is not on this list yet. UNICEF. Of course, UNICEF is already a partner. So if, and we're going to lower all hands, I see many people who seem to be wanting to speak, but we do have some specific questions. If you could tell us, if you would like to tell us, why do you want to join the Nigeria Immunization Collaborative? What is the biggest immunization challenge that you face? And what is the goal that you want to achieve in the uh, collaborative? I see one person saying, my voice is not heard. Um, uh, Charlotte, are you hearing me properly, or is there a problem with my audio? I'm hearing you properly, Reda. Okay. It's just that your it's not as sharp as always. And, right. uh, Let's go to Anifat yeah. Egunjobi. Uh, Anifat, a warm welcome to you. Uh, what's on your mind uh, today, as you have already, I believe, been accepted into the collaborative, and you're here to hear the announcement of your new, new colleagues who are joining uh, today? Yes, good afternoon, Reda. Good afternoon, Charlotte. I'm Egon Jobi Anifat from uh, Laudokia Ketola University of Technology, Ugumoso, Nigeria, in Oyo State, Nigeria. In fact, I'm so delighted to be part of the collaborative. So I've already received letter from you. Likewise, on my screen here, I saw my name to be part of it, and I'm ready to work because my aim here is that to make sure that those communities that are hard to reach that we were able to reach it no matter how challenged that we are facing thank you reda We invited you to share your experience ahead of the formal launch of the collaborative. We asked you why you want to join, what's the biggest challenge that you face, and by the 1st of July, 18 of you had answered the question. And once again, we're pleased to announce that as of the 8th of July, uh, there are 140 health professionals from all over Nigeria who have shared their insights. So congratulations to those of you, and you will receive questions nearly every day asking you to share your insights all right and now we come to the applications we're about to announce the uh, new uh, members of the immunization collaborative we'll be sharing that right after sharing this so hold on if you've submitted your application and you have not heard back yet now one clarification is that um, in some cases, people think that just because they registered, they express their interest, that they are part of the collaborative. That is not the case. You need to follow through with the personalized application, answer all the questions in which you will identify a specific challenge, a specific goal, three actions, and share the indicators that you know for vaccination in your area. So 
As of 1st of July, we had applications from 33 states and 71 local government areas. And today, I'm pleased to say that all 36 states are now represented in the applicants to the collaborative. And 171 local government areas, you can see which ones here, are actually, are actually represented in the, uh, in the collaborative. Now, the top nine challenges are still at the top of your, your list. What's on your mind as Nigerian health leaders is reaching zero-dose children and missed communities. And now we come to the moment that Charlotte and I at least have been waiting for, uh, in which we're going to present to you the new applicants selected as of 8th of July. We've included uh, everyone who's uh, been accepted into the collaborative so far. Otherwise, we know there would be people writing in saying, I haven't seen my name. Where's my name? What happened? I thought I was accepted. So to avoid that, we've included everyone. Uh, so here we go. So the names you see before you are those health leaders in Nigeria and really from all states and a number of an impressive 171 local government areas. So that is for people who work at the LGA level and you see their names before your screen. If you see your name here, it means you have been accepted into the collaborative. So we want to warmly welcome you, Charlotte. I'd like to ask you to say a word of welcome. And if those of you who are already members of the collaborative would like to speak please raise your hand so you can welcome your colleagues into the collaborative and again we've included everyone's names so please raise your hand if you'd like to say something uh, charlotte what would you like to say to the uh, nigerian health leaders in the room whose names we are seeing before our eyes as new uh, applicants we've selected and welcoming today to the collaborative Thank you, Reda, and uh, once again, one welcome to uh, uh, everyone that is has now been inducted into the Nigeria Immunization Collaborative. And uh, we do know that you are coming with a wealth of experience and ready to engage with uh, peers and colleagues to learn from one another in order to advance the 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 the, the mission of. Uh, reaching communities with uh, uh, vaccinations in Nigeria. Now, what would be interesting, and I wanted to highlight whether is uh, for everyone to, when you look up, when you identify your name, can you try to see if you can recognize the names of colleagues or peers? If there is no name you can recognize, then maybe that's an indication that your closest colleagues have not yet had this opportunity. And so you should try to see how you, should, you can encourage them to also join the collaborative. Thank you, Reda. We are welcoming new members, health leaders from all over Nigeria, all 36 states, 171 local government areas who are joining the Nigerian, the first Nigerian immunization collaborative today. name on this list it means you have been accepted into the immunization collaborative and if you have been accepted it is because you are special by taking time to tell us to identify a challenge a specific goal mapping out what actions you want to take against this challenge this makes you different and special uh, and that is why you are being welcomed into the collaborative You can see the list is much longer than last week and they will continue to grow as you still have until Friday to apply. And if you have not yet applied yet, please do share with your colleagues.
all 36 states represented as of today, all 36 states represented, and 171 local government areas. But I believe, Charlotte, you spotted that actually many states, some states, and many LGAs have only one health professional representing health workers from that LGA from that state. Would you like to speak to that? And again, we call on our Nigerian colleagues. You are many, many uh, great in numbers in the room as well as uh, being honored today, being welcomed into the collaborative. Do raise your hand, let us know what's on your, well, how you would like to respond to this and what you would like to say to your colleagues. Uh, so Charlotte first. Well, uh, uh, before I speak to that, I just wanted, to, we have uh, Musa Shehu, whose hand has been raised for a while, microphone open as well as Hamida. Uh, so I'm going to be very quick just to say, yeah, we, no we noticed that for a lot, a, a good number of states, we have just one person that have applied. I don't want to name the states here, but I just want everyone to consider that for the 36 states of Nigeria, there is underrepresentation because as of now, it's just 516 uh, people that have applied to join the collaborative. Meanwhile, we know that there are millions of uh, 514, sorry, millions of health workers in Nigeria. So you, we still have a lot of work to do to engage more and more of our colleagues to join us so that we can form a, 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 a network across our LGAs, across our states, and why not all over Nigeria. Thank you, Reda. Anifat, you've asked... I don't to speak again, please go ahead. I wanted Musa Shehu. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Musa Shehu, and um, I'm working with the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency uh, here in Zampara as a state coordinator. Uh, we actually, I'm happy for this uh, collaborate because actually this is the area where we are working uh, immunization space in Zampara. We have a lot of uh, issue regarding the immunization in Zampara, regarding the acceptance in the community, and issue of insecurity, which actually everybody knows this issue, and also the whole world uh, actually knows the issue of insecurity in Zampara State. So we are facing a lot of challenges uh, affecting immunization, especially in the underserved area. We have six LGA or zero dose LGA. Those LGA actually there are a lot of issue of security that actually affect the immunization actually. So I'm happy to join this. Actually, I, I will uh, have a more experience according to uh, my partners. So we have a lot of plan in order to reach those settlements. Uh, first and foremost, we are going to select use for our communities leaders that are living in those insecure settlements in order to overcome uh, those insecure, those uh, people that uh, the children that are not being reached to be rich. Uh, we are going to work with the community leaders. We are going to work with the vigilante in order to reach those settlements. And actually, for the next meeting, I'm going to share more experience regarding those uh, places. Uh, thank you very much, and over. Thank you, Musa Shehu. Anifat, you had asked uh, to speak again. We'd love to hear from you uh, once more. And if there are any others, we're going to be closing this session in just uh, uh, two minutes. So um, this is really your last chance to, if you'd like to speak to your Nigerian colleagues, health professionals from all over Nigeria have joined this collaborative and continue to join. We urge you to continue and renew uh, your efforts to share, disseminate. You have been very successful so far, but there are still many states, many LGAs where there isn't where there is only one person or two people, uh, two health professionals, then we know it is better not to go it uh, alone. Anifat, um, would you like to speak or is that, uh, is that from, yes. yes, go ahead. Good afternoon once again. What I, I, I said that I'm delighted that I'm part of the collaborative and uh, I have about three options here that, uh, I can really do to help uh, to reach those that have not been not as I uh, those that are hard to reach. I one of those one is that uh, to collaborate with the stakeholders in the community, like the pastors, the religious leaders, the uh, youth leaders, market leaders, and some others. In case uh, we have some that uh, based on their religions, uh, religious myth and uh, ethics, 
they don't want to accept a uh, immunization to want uh, all the religious uh, uh, elders, religious leaders to talk to them. Likewise, uh, the youth leaders we talk to the youth. Then uh, uh, for or for easy accessibility to the place, so we are trying to arrange with the uh, transport sector in the state so that maybe we can collaborate with them so that anytime we are having immunization with those that are hard to reach in your state, so they will be able to take us there. Or if we can have lasting solution to to these challenges. And the lasting solution now is that all those hard to reach, maybe we have we have a immunization site in their area. That's the lasting solution. And the Oyo State, I, I know the Oyo State government will be happy to, to employ more staff into all these areas so that those people will be able to be immunized well. Thank you, and Hova. Thank you very much indeed, Anifat. We'll hear one last um, one last person, Yakubu Aliu, and then uh, unfortunately we'll have to close uh, for today's session. But we will reconvene next Monday, and we count on you. It is in your hands whether we will have more uh, in, more joining the collaborative. So Can go I ahead. speak now? Yes, go ahead, uh, yeah, Yakubu. We have just a. Uh, yes, uh, you have about a minute. Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon, Nigerians. Good afternoon, health workers. I am Yakubu Aliu from the University Health Services, Federal University of Technology, MINA, a health information management technologist. I am at the same time the Secretary, Association of Health Record Practitioners and Information Management Practitioners of Nigeria, Niger State Branch. I am highly delighted to be part of this team uh, in the issue of immunization and challenges that have to do with immunization. Is not uh, far, far more far uh, from other challenges that have to do with uh, healthcare services. And um, where you agree with me, it's obvious that uh, uh, when we fail to plan, you have already pl uh, planned to fail. And uh, one of the challenges I have, uh, I, 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 I feel, I feel is is uh, is, is uh, stopping it all. Thank you very much indeed, Yakubu Aliu. In having the right people to make sure get right information, get it, and do it. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much indeed, Yakubu Aliu, and you have other Nigerian colleagues. We look forward to seeing you on Monday with an update and the announcement of the latest members joining the Nigerian Immunization Collaborative. It's the first time we've done anything like this. We're proud to be working with you and look forward and really appreciate your commitment and engagement. Bye.